Hi guys, Rob846 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP24 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. And as you can see, I have uh, a new helmet if you haven't seen uh, the previous video. Um, Mapo78, a fantastic helmet and livery creator on both MotoGP and the Ride Series, has very kindly made myself a helmet, a number and ride sticker, which I'm going to be using in my uh, career so I've changed helmets to uh, showy I know it's not an MT helmet and we are with the MT helmets team but they like the helmet so much they said it was okay so yeah that's uh, how we are looking um, love the helmet looks fantastic um, number as well gone for number 45 and yeah, very, very happy with his work. Every time you go on the online um, store to, to search online stuff, his work is always most of it on the first page. Um, yeah, right. We are off to Circuit of the Americas. That is for the next round. We got on the podium in Portugal, but for Asato... His pace is just extreme at the moment. So I don't know what's going to happen here in Kota. It's all going to be dry. Let's head out. So tyre-wise, suggesting soft front, probably soft rear as well. Yeah, we'll keep it as that. No, we won't. I'm going to go for a medium front because I prefer the stability. Okay. Let's head out, see what we can do. Look at that helmet. So. Let's see what we can do lap time wise. So first flying lap won't be anything special but uh, we'll go from there see what we can do people come out of the pits a bit wide through turn one Nearly lost it there. And again, oh, no oh dare. Okay, Watley is going to get in the way here. Might be able to use him for a bit of slipstream actually. Really having a huge effect. Okay, we're starting to gain on him now. Couldn't quite get through. I think we have now, but he's got the inside. I'm going to go wide. Oh, he's going to go wide as well. Burn up the tyre through this corner. Let's drop back now. Okay. First flying lap done. 2.18.3 but it wasn't the best of laps ok 
down a bit wide through turn one. Not going to get any slipstream this time. So we'll lose time down here, I would have thought. Yeah, starting to lose time now because this is when we start to pick up the slipstream. That was a better lap. So 2.17.1. So we are through by a tenth of a second from Joel Esteban. Rulstone in third, Ricardo Rossi fourth. Alright. So through we go. Q2. Can we get a decent result here? Let's just... Change our tyres to new ones and go back Steve out. Just finished preparing the bike and My teammate Yvonne Artola just behind. Okay, so we've gotten the 217s in Q1. Oh no. That's not ideal, is it? That is so annoying when they come out and then get right in your way. Surely that should be a penalty. At least for Suzuki because he really got in the way. No one directly behind, which is fine. Don't really want to catch the group ahead.
Okay. I mean, this first lap is going to be a useless lap anyway. Yeah, 2.23. Still no one behind, so that is absolutely fine. Yeah, red sectors everywhere, but that's because my first flying lap was obviously a crashed lap. So everyone is going to improve on that, including myself. I feel like I'm catching this group. like I'm spinning as much as I thought I would around here. Okay, Frasato is in the 16s, wow. Seven seconds off I am. And now we're up to second, but half a second behind for Asato. Come on, just keep going. For Asato, going to go even quicker, which is not ideal. Oh no, front's gone. Been too greedy there. Okay, trying to go out again. For Asato, he's about to move the goalposts again. Two sixteen one. Olgado's gone a little bit quicker than me. So I'm still on the front row at the moment, but I don't know how long for.
Yeah, now we're off the front row. Doing everything I can to just try and go a little bit quicker. Lost all that time. Okay, back up to second, final lap. Bit of a moment there into turn one. Last time. Two tenths off. Not ideal. I don't think anyone else is going to go any quicker though, so we're probably looking at second place. No, the second front's gone. Every qualifying session comes to a close. The results you see on the screen correspond to the starting order on the grid tomorrow. Okay, Napa in sixth. Okay, we're looking at 30 degrees. I think I'll go medium front, soft rear. The race officials give the okay. The tires seem to last okay in qualifying. Firmly on the light. Just a few more seconds and the Grand Prix of the Americas is go. Watch for Asato disappear. Away we go. Oh, that was Napa coming through. I need to get in front of Furusato as quickly as possible. Just because I know he's going to be quick. Right, we got slipstream there. Eh? 
Oh, Suzuki's gone. Come on, try and stay ahead of Furusato. Nepa's in third, but quite far back. Rosato is through annoyingly. Don't know how he managed to get that stop, but he did. back. He'll probably get me back, maybe into this next corner. Or if not, on the straight. There he comes. Second time Brewade has had a track limits warning. Okay, we're on to lap three. Is he going to have another lunge into turn one? Not close enough. No, I went in hot into turn one anyway. I know we're definitely suffering on the straights. Like he's eaten into my lead. He's got a bit of slips for him as well, but he's literally about to come past. And he's made it stick as well. Watch him pull away now, I bet.
Right there for me. And the worst possible time to pull a wheelie as well. Come on. Come on, Slipstream, work a bit harder. It's not going to. Too hot into that. I think that might be it. Made too many mistakes trying to stay with them again. And it's nearly one second. and push on this lap, see if we can close back in a little bit. Closed it down a little bit, but it's not going to be enough. If we had better slipstream, but we don't because he just pulls away on the straight. That's twice now we've uh, track limits warnings. Oh, nearly lost the front then. Yeah, so it's not going to be possible to win this one unless he has a crash, but can't see that happening unfortunately. And the gap is over one second. 1.3. He's gone.
annoying, but another second place. Even though the tyre looks pretty worn, it doesn't feel too bad, the rear tyre. Must be putting in a hell of a lap on this final lap. I know I'm not going particularly fast on this last lap. Everyone else over five seconds behind. There we go, second place. But for Asalto, just seems to be unbeatable at the moment. Fastest lap, lap was Munoz, 215.1. For Asato, 216.2, 216.6 for me. Yeah, not, uh, not ideal, but is what it is. Okay, well it is another uh, podium, another second place. We move up to second place, but we are 20 points behind for Asato. We are now leading the Constructors' Championship by two points. The Team Championship, I should say. So that's something. He's getting a well-deserved round of applause from his team members. This is a really good result that will give him some optimism for the upcoming races. But yeah, Furusato is just on fire. Literally cannot hang with his pace. As soon as he gets to the front, that's why I was trying to get in front of him as early as possible. But as soon as he hits the front, if you don't make a move soon, he just goes off into the distance and you don't get to see him again. But the rear tyre felt a bit better, even though it looked really worn. We beat Nepper. Which is good. Turning point. Is, gonna, is it going to be against Furusato? One step at a time. Okay. Nope. Against Nepper again. Okay. Turning point. Robin 46's performance is convincing KTM. Finish the race in front of Nepa might result in additional support from the manufacturer. Nice message. Suzuki, I pushed myself to the maximum, but I was unable to keep Robin 46 behind me. I'll definitely have to do a better to do better at her F if I want to finish in front. That's fine. I mean there's loads of KTM riders, so we need to keep all of them happy. Ah, oh, it's a wet race. That could prove disastrous. Okay. So that will be next time. Let's look at the standings for all three categories. Obviously Moto3 for Asato leads by 20 points from myself now who is in second place. Suzuki drops to third. Alonso is in fourth. And Nepa is up two places to fifth. Moto2. With the weird points, Arbolino leads from Joe Roberts, who's up four places to second. Uh, Vietti drops down two to third. Gonzalez drops two down to fourth. And Marcos Ramirez is up 22 positions to fifth place. And Mazir is up 22 positions to eighth. MoGP again, weird on the, the points total there. Bastianini leads the way. He moves up two positions. Uh, he's got 12 points over Brad Binder, who drops down to second. Mark Marquez drops down to third. Pedro Costa up two places to fourth. And Alex Marquez is down to fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!